I'm Dr. David Hansen, and I build robots with character. And by that I mean that I develop robots that are characters, but also robots that will eventually come to empathize with you. So we're starting with a variety of technologies that have converged into these conversational character robots that can see faces, make eye contact with you, make a full range of facial expressions, understand speech, and begin to model how you're feeling and who you are and build a relationship with you. I developed a series of technologies that allowed robots to make more realistic facial expressions than previously achieved on lower power, which enabled walking biped robots, the first androids. So it's a full range of facial expressions simulating all the major muscles in the human face, running on uh, very small batteries, extremely lightweight. The materials that allowed the battery-operated facial expressions is a material that we call Frubber, and it actually has three major innovations in the material uh, that allow this to happen. One is hierarchical pores, and the other is a macromolecular nanoscale porosity in the material. And he's starting to walk. This is uh, at the Korean Advanced Institute of Science and Technology. I built the head, they built the body. So the goal here is to achieve sentience in machines, and not just sentience, but empathy. We're working with the Machine Perception Laboratory at the UC San Diego. They have this really remarkable facial expression technology that recognizes facial expressions, what facial expressions you're making. It also recognizes where you're looking, your head orientation. We're emulating all the major facial expressions and then controlling it with the software that we call the character engine. And here's a little bit of the technology that's involved in that. In fact, let me plug it from here. I'm going to plug it in here. And now, let's see if it gets my facial expressions. Okay, so I'm smiling. And now I'm frowning. And this is really heavily backlit. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's so sad. Okay, so you smile. Frowning. So his perception of your emotional states is very important for machines to, um, to effectively become empathetic. Machines are becoming a devastatingly capable of um, things like uh, killing, right? Um, those machines have no place for empathy, um, and there's billions of dollars being spent on that. Character robotics could plant the seed for robots that actually have empathy. So if they achieve human-level intelligence or quite possibly greater than human levels of intelligence, this could be the um, seeds of hope for our future. So we've made 20 robots in the last eight years during the course of getting my PhD. And then I started Hanson Robotics, which has been developing these things for mass manufacturing. This is one of our robots that we showed at Wired Next Fest a couple of years ago. And it sees multiple people in a scene, remembers where individual people are, and looks from person to person uh, remembering people. So, um, so we're involving two things. One, the perception of people, and two, the, um, the natural interface, the natural form of the interface, so that it's more intuitive for you to um, interact with the robot. You start to believe that it's alive and aware. So one of my favorite projects was bringing all this stuff together in an artistic display uh, of an android portrait of uh, science fiction writer Philip K. Dick, who wrote uh, great works like Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, which was the basis of the movie Blade Runner. In these stories, robots often think that they're human, and they sort of come to life. So we put his writings, letters, uh, um, his interviews, uh, correspondences into a huge database of uh, thousands of pages, and then use some natural language processing to allow you to actually have a conversation with him. And it was kind of spooky because he would say these things that, that just sounded like they really understood you. This is one of the most exciting projects that we're developing, which is a little character that's a spokesbot for friendly uh, artificial intelligence, friendly machine intelligence. And we're getting this mass manufactured. We stacked it out to actually be um, doable with a very, very low cost uh, bill of materials so that um, it can become a childhood companion for kids. Interfacing with the internet, it gets smarter over the years. As artificial intelligence evolves, so does his intelligence. Thank you, Thank you so much. That's incredible. Thank you. Thank you.